Oil and gas pipelines traverse many miles, and in doing that, they go across a number of features, uh, earthquake zones, uh, rivers, those sorts of things. So we may have failures from natural causes. Here's a picture of a pipe. Uh, in this case, it happens to be a 30-inch gas pipeline. You can see it's in the drainage ditch, and it's been washed out in this drainage ditch, so it's exposed. Now, from a practical standpoint, with normal water levels, or even with water in flood stages, this pipeline probably won't be affected. It probably won't rupture, but if there's a large rain and a tree, a willow tree or a cottonwood tree, washes out upstream and comes floating downstream and the root or a limb gets hooked on this pipeline, it may exert enough force that would cause to fail. So in this case, the pipeline company relatively quickly came back, did a directional drill underneath the drainage ditch and replaced this pipeline. Here you can see there's a pipeline and the side of the hill is washed out and so the dirt up there, the soil is pushing against this pipeline, putting additional strain on this pipeline or causing additional strain from the stress it's putting on this pipeline. So we need to make sure we come back and mitigate this. And just a little uh, tip for you, if you're ever out on the right of way and you have a pipeline that's going along the side of the hill and you're looking there and saying, why are those trees on that side of the hill leaning? They didn't grow crooked. The, the hill is moving down, it's sliding, and it's putting additional stress onto your pipeline. So you need to take mitigative actions, maybe dig it up, relieve the stress, come back and put strain gauges on that you check periodically to make sure you know what the strain and what the stress is on this pipeline. So pipe exto exposed by erosion. Here is a buckle that came due to settlement in a landfill. So you can see they're going back and working on that. The buckle is very pronounced right there. And then we have a crack that's in the buckle. So natural causes, uh, what causes failures, and showing some examples. A crack in the buckle 